Oh, we're going to look at three books this morning. We're getting into the Minor Prophets. We're going through the Minor Prophets. So these books are a bit smaller than the bigger books. So we're going to put these three together today. 31. Obadiah. Oba, can you guys say that? Obadiah. Ready? Obadiah. Obadiah. So you're not Obadiah. <coughs> Obadiah. Obadiah. What about this one? Jonah. Can you guys say that? Jonah. Jonah. What about this one? Nahum. Can you say that? Nahum. Again? Nahum. There we go. 31, 32, 34. Now why are we putting these ones together? Well, most of the minor prophets if you haven't noticed when we go through them, they're preaching to God's people. Either it was the nation of Israel or the nation of Judah. If you remember, it's separated. But these three minor prophets, they didn't preach to God's people, Israel or Judah. They preached to other countries. So Obadiah, you know who he preached to? He preached to the Edomites. We have Obadiah here. Obadiah preached to the Edomites. If you don't know who the Edomites are, Edom was Esau. Who knows Esau? Still don't know Esau. Esau <coughs> was the brother of Jacob. Do you remember when Jacob was, uh, was born of Rebekah? He was a twin, wasn't he? So he was a twin with who? With Esau. And Esau's name is also known as Edom. And that's where you get the Edomites. And that's who Obadiah is preaching to. And you know what Obadiah is doing? He's rebuking the nation of Edom for what Esau did to Jacob. Because Esau persecuted Jacob. And the same, the Edomites as a nation persecuted Israel. So what Obadiah's book is about is he's saying, hey, you know, one day God is going to revenge what you did to Jacob, just like what Edom, the country, is doing to Israel, the country, right? God's people. And one day, because the Edomites were taking up the land, he says, hey, I'm going to bring Israel back into the land. Here's verse 10 from Obadiah. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. See? Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off for ever. So that's what Obadiah was about. Obadiah didn't preach to the nation of Israel. <laughs> he preached to the <coughs> brother of the nation of Israel, Edom. And then we get on to a famous minor prophet, Jonah. You guys know the story of Jonah? Jonah is probably the most interest, one of the interesting stories of the Minor Prophets. Does this give you a hint about what happened with Jonah? Jonah got swallowed by a whale. Now why did he get swallowed by a whale? Well this one I'll tell you the story a bit with some pictures. Jonah was a prophet. Oh God, why is he in the water there? Because you know what God told Jonah to do? God said to Jonah, I want you to go preach to the Ninevites. So Jonah didn't go preach to Israel or to Judah. He went to go preach to the nation of Nineveh, the Ninevites, to tell them to turn back to the Lord. But you know what? Jonah decided to disobey God. He didn't want to obey God. So he got into a ship to go the other way to Tarshish instead of to Nineveh. And you know, when he was in the ship, God was upset. So God made the waves come up and you see the thunder and the people on the boat were so scared they were going to die. They don't know what's happening. And Jonah knew though. Jonah said, it's because he's not obeying God that this storm is happening. And these guys in the ship, they're throwing things off the ship. They're throwing their food off. They're throwing all these things to keep the ship afloat. But Jonah says, you know what? If you throw me off, then everything will be fine. So they throw him off the boat into the water. And then 
the storm stops. Because it was Jonah <laughs> that was causing that storm. And then when Jonah was in the water, a big fish comes, a whale, and swallows Jonah. It's a big fish that God had prepared. And Jonah spends how many days and how many nights in the whale's belly? You know, Simon? That's right, three days and three nights. You know why it's three days and three nights that Jonah was in the whale's belly? Why? Do you know, Simon? That's it. Because Jesus was in the heart of the earth three days and three nights, in hell paying for our sins. So Jonah was a sign of Jesus being in the whale's belly three days and three nights. And then Jonah is spat out onto the land by the whale. What? Look at him. Now he's in Nineveh. So you see how he tried to run from God's will? But God got him back on to the right path. <laughs> Using a whale. So Jonah goes into the heart of Nineveh and tells them to repent, to turn back to the Lord. So in here, he's actually telling them to turn from their sins. We don't need to turn from our sins in order to be saved. We just need to believe on Jesus. But that wasn't the message of Jonah. The message of Jonah is that they needed to do good works so that God would spare their city. Look at what Jonah 3.10 says. Luckily, the Ninevites in this instance, they believed God. Not only did they believe God, they also turn from their sins. It says here, and God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them and he did it not. You see, so Jonah went into the city, he preached to them and they did turn back to God and God spared Nineveh judgment. Then what happened? You would think Jonah would be happy that God didn't destroy the city. But he wasn't. Jonah didn't like the Ninevites. So he was up in a mountain waiting for God to judge them, but he didn't. So what does God do? God brings up a vine or a tree because <coughs> he's sitting in the sun here. It's hot up there in that mountain. So God grows this tree to cover him from the sun and then he's happy but you know the next day what happens god sends a really hot wind to kill the plant and now jonah is upset because now he's in the sun and he doesn't have the shade anymore and you know what god says to him look at how upset you are just about this plant dying shouldn't you care more about all the people in nineveh and just about this plant makes Jonah think, doesn't it? And that's how the story ends. See, because Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. He didn't want to preach to them and get them saved. So God got the fish, took him to Nineveh. And even though Jonah preached to them, he still didn't want them to be saved. And God is trying to teach Jonah a lesson to say, look, you care so much about plants. You should care more about people. So we need to care more about people as well rather than things, don't we? We need to tell them about Jesus. And that was Jonah in Nineveh. Now, unfortunately, Nahum, by the time you get to Nahum's time, even though Nineveh repented at that time and God spared them, at the time of Nahum, they had gotten wicked again. And then Nahum's preaching is again a, 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 a message of judgment to the evil deeds of the Ninevites. But, like in most of the minor prophets, there is always mercy, isn't there? There's always a way people can be saved and God promising. You know, if they turn back to him, they can be saved. So this is a verse from Nahum 1, 7. <laughs> Look at this. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. All right, let's read this one together. You ready? Nahum. Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, 
and he knoweth them that trust in him. Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. Again, the minor prophets always remind us of Jesus, especially Jonah, because Jesus himself said, as Jonah was in the whale of the belly three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Okay? Now we have a craft today. I'll show you what, we... <coughs> show you what we're going to make. Elizabeth made this one. Have you guys seen this? What is this? It's a whale. It's a whale. Make sure you put your hand up. What is this, Timothy? It's a whale. So this is the whale that swallowed Jonah. Where's Jonah? He's inside. <laughs> Whoops. He's eating him. He's not meant to eat him, chew him. Whales don't chew, they just swallow. Okay, so we've got to make a whale and Jonah's going to be inside. Okay, so hopefully we'll have enough time to finish it. All right, let's all stand up.